What oh, I'm seeing here man. is um, it's just a card that's ready for you to implement your own vision with it. Yeah, I think for eight hundred dollars, mm-hmm. imagine you buy it for eight hundred, and you dude, you could put ten grand into it, and you'd have easily a five thousand dollar car. I think that tonight we're going to take a look at the 240SX listings of Facebook Marketplace. There's always something interesting on there. And you know, I just like them. Neckier 57, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Neckier, you sound a little bit different. Did the option go well? I believe so. If I sound a little bit different, I believe so, yes. Okay, good, good, good. They've really tightened up your vocal cords and you're sounding great. These appear to all be Nissan D21s, which I know you like. I know that you're a big fan of the Nissan hard body. What do you think about this one? I do like Nissan. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know about that front. We've got a 91 Nissan 240SX, 7,600 bucks, Phoenix, Arizona, 14,000 miles, Vindo Nissan, Mui Intera, AC Mui Frio, Transmission Manual, and it's a 4 by 2 <laughs> Muy frío. I don't know about those wheels aren't that great. No, you don't like the wheels? No, I don't. You know, a lot's changed about you, Neckgear, but I'm glad that the one thing has stayed consistent, and, and that's a uh, disrespect for people's taste in wheels. <laughs> All right, this one's sold. It's a uh, 1993 240SX Coupe, $6,000 a day ago in Rockville, Maryland with 147,000 miles. This one is uh, Drift Buenos Condiciones Titulo Limpio, so we got a clean title on that one. Ooh, what do you think about that I steering thought- wheel? Uh, what's there to think about it? I mean, it's round and it's purple and it, it reminds me of one of those chain steering wheels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little lowrider style. Yes. Yeah. He's got some pieces missing. He spray painted his wheels black. Um, overall, I got to say the paint looks pretty shot on this one. Mismatched seats, uh, big old dildo shift knob there. There's a lot to not Well, it like. does. I don't know. It looks a little, it looks a little... But, <laughs> it does look a I little, mean, d- yeah, I, I would agree. And that looks like, a, is that a car seat? Oh, that's a bucket seat. That's a bucket seat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it looks like a baby owns this car, if I'm being honest. They're, they're, well, that's like a movie, Baby Driver. I Yeah, actually, a Baby Driver was pretty good. Uh, we got a bare shell here, no title, trunk floor cut out. $500? Oh. There's a lot missing here uh, on this, this whip in uh, Spring, Texas. You know, this would be a great okay. time for you to go off on how much you love the great state of Texas, actually. Yeah. Big fan? Well, yeah. I mean, who wouldn't be? Who doesn't? Yeah, exactly. Who doesn't like Texas? Mm -hmm. What do you think about Oklahoma? Oklahoma? I mean, I've been there and I I like it. What? It was, Oklahoma's nice. Hmm, something seems off. We got a 1991 Nissan 240SX SE Coupe for 3,500 bucks, Deerfield Beach, Florida, 150,000 miles. This is just a shell, no motor or transmission. The sunroof doesn't leak. $3,500 car has flat tires and a welded diff on unknown name coilovers, comes with interior, no rust on chassis, title in hand, come grab it. Got a S13 Coupe. Mustard guts. Oh, your, your voice changed again, dude. <clears throat> I have, you know, something in my throat. <laughs> So what do you think about it? Pig nose? I mean, it's honestly, I like how they painted the front wheel blue and the front fender area. Uh-huh. Because, you know, like, even though that, even though that, like, go back on the truck, look at it on the truck. So, you know, like that area in front of the door, they painted that blue. Mm-hmm. That's normally covered by a fender. So this shows very, it's like attention to detail. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then painting it the mustard gut engine bay. Yeah. That's like even better. No, I that's, think that's gold, dude. That's like a that's yeah. like the king's crown on top of this regal S13. And the, the yeah, the colors just mesh really well. Yeah. The dude in the back looks like he's rapping. <laughs> this guy right here. Yeah, I like I like everything about it. And also, only thirty five hundred bucks for a, a strip bare shell. It's hard to beat. You'd be hard pressed to find a, a, a better deal. I think. Hyper Walker says it looks like somebody dropped a Mc, uh, McDonald's hamburger on the floor. And I got to say, that seems like harsh criticism of what looks like a lovely S13. I mean, I'm not I'm not one to turn down a floor burger. It's still a burger, dude. Yeah. You can still eat it. You can still munch, dude. Well, here's a 1991 240SX Fastback. It's sold. It was listed for $1, and he'd trade for an S14 clean title and not ratchet. Okay. Who do you I mean, think you are, man? Uh, where do I begin with this thing? F*** dude, like... First off, the color is terrible. Uh huh. It's like if someone tried to do a multicolored S13, but they somehow f***ed it up and made it all one color. Like, yeah, I get you. Bro, I get like, you. Like, what? What the f*** is wrong with you? The wheels appear to be OEM, which is, yeah, as which you is and I so know, is the cringed thing you can yes. do with a car. Please, God, give me a ISR 
five lug swap and some fucking avid wheels. Please. Let me see his face. Oh, God. He's a dog. No wonder. Pass, dog dude. brain motherfuckers, dude. <laughs> Here is. I would not buy that car. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is this this <laughs> is based. This is it's it's an Audi, it's an Audi swapped roof. You this is super unique, dude. I've never seen this before. Super unique. This is the kind of builds you need to be doing. For real, for real. I've never seen an Audi A4 hood strapped to the top roof, of a 180SX swap. shell. Yeah, no, that's yeah, hood to roof swap. F Something new for the culture, you know what I mean? Yes. To me, that is the most important thing, doing something that no one has done before. And this guy did it. He's the one that's prepared to go against the grain and say, hey, this is me, everybody. Hear yeah. me. I have an Audi hood for a roof. I'm here. I'm, I'm here. I'm still here. I got a yoga mat in my windshield. And you ain't seen that before either. I don't think I've ever seen that no, before. No, no. Mm -mm. Oh, oil filter in the wheel, in the passenger footwell. Mm -hmm. that's unique yeah what oh, i'm seeing here man. is um it's just a car that's ready for you to implement your own vision with it you know yeah i think i think for 800 dollars, dude you could buy this car for 800 imagine dude mm -hmm. imagine you buy it for 800 and you could dude you could put 10 grand into it and you'd have easily a five thousand dollar car yeah it's amazing that people are passing up deals like this to me yeah i, I don't understand it either I mean, well, I mean, obviously it's sold. I mean, somebody in, in Lyburn, Georgia has their head screwed on straight because they bought this. Lil Burn. Lil Burn. Lil Burn. Yeah. All right. Well, here we have a 97 240SX, $5,000, four days ago in Elk Grove, California. He's not selling the car, which, you know, that makes sense because it is, it's a car listing. We got a, uh, comes with harness and ECU, five-speed trans, drive shaft, spare turbo manifold, spare aftermarket fuel rail with 750cc injectors, and a Mishimoto radiator, which... <sighs> Hot. Spending your money right. Uh, yeah. Selling his turnkey SR20 DET swap. It was in uh, It was in my S14. Runs good. Believe it's stock, but was told by one of the previous owners that the bottom end is built, but not entirely sure. Swap comes with everything you need to throw in and start. $5,000 firm. We got a red top. If he, heard it, if he heard it from one of the previous owners, a rumor that the bottom end was built. Yeah. I mean, that basically the engine can probably take seven eight hundred horsepower easily it's I mean, a built it's a fully built motor who am i to say that a guy from two or three owners ago is wrong you know yeah yeah, yeah. Honestly. I, I trust it yeah and five thousand dollars for a mystery meat sr20 it just seems like a good deal yeah easily uh, i don't know about this here's a 97 240sx it's the uh the, obviously the the lesser of the two s14s yeah this is the uglier one the cope yeah i call it the copy the copy yeah, yeah, the Kopi S14. Yeah. Zenki is the Chad for sure. Z yeah, Zenki looks like I, I love the way the Zenki is very bubbly and not aggressive. Yeah. Uh, because like I'm like a, p you know what I mean? And I don't like like this car just looks too scary for me. Yeah. Oh, he's got a nice security system on it for what it's worth. Yeah. Oh, it's and it has it's automatic, which uh, that's a big plus. Yeah. I mean, have you ever driven in stop and go traffic? Forget about it. Yeah. Forget dude, about it. That non crack dash, non molested. Have a lot of recent maintenance records. Recent maintenances include front crank seal, valve cover gasket, power steering kit. Absolutely no leaks. Runs real well. I've had a difficult time deciding whether I'd sell this '97 original Kuki for a while now. Excuse me, Kopi for a while now. It's the perfect blank canvas for a street track OEM build. I don't know, dude. I mean, it looks like this canvas is pretty well full of boring stock yeah. body. The the wheels are hot. The wheels are hot as f Oh, yeah. Those conic the worst, decagrams, it, dude. Yeah. No, I think they're Ankies. Uh, yeah, I don't think they're actually decagrams. I don't think there's enough spokes. Oh, but, oh. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah what, but that's, those that's are sick. Bad. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big road ahead personally, so it's, you know. And what I... The, I it's it, like it says non molested mm -hmm. and like I've molested so many dude that I'm legitimately on the S chassis offender list. Yeah. I have to register every city I go to. Like I'm out here to molest these cars. Hell yeah, dude. This guy's a he hasn't even fed this car yet. Come yeah, on. what an idiot. Come on, dude. Well, well, well. Here is a 1992 Nissan 240SX Coupe, $600, two days ago in Spring, Texas. I think this is one that we already looked at. We, we just looked at one in Spring, yeah. Yeah, Spring's full of shells, I guess. But that shells, one had a purple steering wheel, didn't it? Yeah, that one had a purple steering wheel that you thought was really cool. This one has live animals in it, so oh. <laughs> that's a step up. What's with the last picture? See, it's like all the pictures are sick, and then they show this, like, fucked up car in the last picture. What is that? What the f***? 
<laughs> Nerd alert. Gross. Yeah, dude, that looks like something that, like, I don't want to say it, man. Go I back. Mean, yeah, I don't want to look at this one anymore. Let's look at, there we go. Those are the pictures that are good. Yeah, go back one more picture. Hype as hell. That license plate is sick on that on that car behind it. The one that just says 300ZX? Yes, that's hot as On a 300ZX? Yeah, like. I like when they get to the if, point. Like, I, honestly, in real life, I'd be super impressed if I saw that. Yeah, and I like that, you know, you could take your trash to a trash can, but, like, you could just drive a trash can around, you know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Like, what's the you point? You are the trash dude? can. Yeah, you know? dude. And just empty it all out at once. You know, or let it fill and then sell it on Facebook Marketplace. And this, like, the thing is, you get this running, and you don't even, you don't even have to throw your beer cans, like, out of the car. You just toss them in the back, and they fall out of the hole in the back. Oh, yeah, like where he's cut out for probably a fuel cell. Yeah, or something, like, really cool. Something that I'm sure he would have gotten to, unfortunately, life got in the way, as it usually does. You can see he's got another S13 over here that looks just as nice, actually. I wonder if that one's for yeah. sale. He's got a lot of projects going on. Is this an LS400? It is, yeah. Damn, dude. That dude is a fucking mad pimp, dude. Yeah. And the paint looks, I mean, thick. I mean, that's what I look for in paint. When I look, when I look for a rattle can paint job, I want it to go on thick. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, to where you can really see the texture in it. Like, it almost looks like bed liner. Tires are for sliding, paints for gripping. That's what I say. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Completely agree. I hope that he sells that. 600 bucks, Spring, Texas. And here is, yeah, I don't know, dude. Um, here's a 1989 Nissan 240SX, $17,000. Two days ago in Daly City, California with 145,000 miles. He's entertaining the idea of selling my beloved time capsule to build my, quote, mom car and focus on my family. Please see photos for information and build sheet. Vehicle is clean title, pink slip in hand. Most of the work was done by the previous owner who had the car for nearly 20 years. Although this is an 89, he swapped in a lower mileage dual cam. Underneath the wrap is gloss black that unfortunately has water stains. Paint started peeling, which is why the car is now wrapped. Eh, we don't need to read anymore. So we've got a, um, we got a oh, dual a K24D. It's a SIL 80, dude. It's a SIL 80. Oh, dude. Dude, just like an initial D. Dude, that's fire. Oh dude. my, and it has the headlights, the, the ones that people call bricks, dude. I love it. Top tier. When car, yeah, when car parts have a nickname, that's how I know they're good. Yeah. And that's why I like bricks. Dude, bricks are wavy. They be hitting different for real, for real. Fuck me. Yeah. Oh my God. I don't know about the, uh, the, the Koki taillights though. Personally, I would have gone with some full clear eBay tails. That's yeah. how you really set this off. The all the stickers are sick as f the yeah. peaker is sick. Mm -hmm. He has the oh two Surakawas fuck. Got one here and a one here. And there's one there's one hanging inside, dude. That's yeah, dude. that's JDM as f You gotta let him know. That's JDM as f Trying to talk some polite conversation. Discord.gg slash feed. Let's talk some polite conversation, my good man. Ooh, she oh, she nice. F the steering wheel comes off, dude. The steer I look, look, oh, there's no steering wheel. Oh, you think there's no steering wheel there. What? It's on How the dash. How do you do that? It's on the dash. This is it right here? Oh, yes, dude. But what it goes here. That, I'll bet that makes it's, it super easy to get in and oh, out, though. Dude, it's like, a, it's like honestly, it's practically a race car. This is sick as f Dude. Like fire look, extinguisher right there. Look at the AC controls, dude. They're in. They're pink. That's not factory, dude. He modded that. Damn, dude. He modded it. He modded down to the nuts on this thing. Shit. He loves boba. It says dumb bitch shoes. This is how you know when someone is, is like really into drifting. Yeah. Because they have that. If you look at the e brake handle and you see that blue thing, mm -hmm. that it's like a that's like a drifter thing. The drift only button. drifters. Yeah. Only drifters know what it is. Yeah. It's like, oh, hey, you know, like I drift. You know, letting letting people know. Yeah. You know, like I'm lit as f too. Dude, the steering wheel's over here now. It can oh, go anywhere. Shit. Yeah. And the back seat is full of dolls. So God damn. JDM is f dude. Like, honest to God, if you saw this car in Japan, you wouldn't, you know, you'd think it belonged there. Yeah. Like legit. Because this is how they look in Japan. Yeah, for sure. And also it's wrapped. I mean, it costs like twice as much as a paint job and it has a finite lifespan. But that just means you're swapping it out. Or you could just peel it yeah. off and you go back to the peel original paint. No problem ever. Is that a uh, NA front bumper? Yeah, yeah. So they just, they don't have any vents whatsoever? No, because the K's had the, si or the turbos have the sideband intercooler. Yeah. So which one has the dual? Which one has it on both sides? Uh, the aero bumper. 
Okay. All right. We got a pig nose here on RPF ones, 93 for $10,000 two days ago in San Antonio, Texas with 200,000 miles. I hate the wheels. Everyone has these wheels. They're so played out, dude. Like, for real. Why do people get these? I mean, how many pairs of these I got to see in a single day? You know what I mean? Honest to God, dude. I mean, it's got a limited slip differential, Mishimoto front mount, Mishimoto dual core radiator, angle kit, poly bushings, three inch turbo back. We got a Gretti intake manifold, head studs, just head studs. Uh, 17 inch RPF ones, performance sway bars. The frame is straight, no rust, wideband gauge, boost gauge, NRG quick release steering wheel. ka -ching! When I hear that ding, Oof. what I really hear is ka -ching! You know what I mean? Yeah. That's money, you know what? You know it's a baller driving it. Ooh, those seats, oh, dude. Oh, those they match the paint, dude. seats are sick. Oh, f you're right, dude. Red mm -hmm. seats on the red paint car. Yo. Dude. Green sir console. Oh, f man i think it's amazing like the dudes that have this kind of vision you know they're like mm -hmm. like i would have never thought to match two colors like that honest to god no i f with the vision dude he's got a white top green center console as mentioned stance coilovers oh f stance what's sick about those coilovers is that they're named after the thing that i like which is stance <laughs> yeah it's hot dude it's, it's a shame that he doesn't, he doesn't have any poke, though. I mean, he's got the, he's got a perfect looking rolled rear fender here, but this is, this is battleship fitment, dude. I, I wish they made fur affinity coilovers. On God. That's another thing we love here. What, how much does he want? Uh, he wanted $10,000. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a deal. That's yeah. a deal. Reasonable. Yeah, because, because dude, it already won. You already can see the tires, which is lit in the engine bay. Yeah, yeah. yeah we got this all cut out. It, or wait, we only have one already... side cut out. Oh, sick. Oh, oh that's, a, that's sick, dude. It's like, uh, that's, a, that's actually a drift thing. You know, it's really cool though, because it's, I love stuff that's not, um, not symmetrical, like a Z31 hood scoop, et cetera. Yeah. 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 I love asymmetrical stuff like that. It's very cool. And a Freddy intake. Yep. The Savior Money. It already dude. has, already has sick bucket seats, already has a sick fucking quick release, already has a sick oil cap. Pro wiring. Oh, and, yeah. And, and dude, custom wiring. I'm not one to do fucking custom wiring. So if it's already done, to me, that's a plus. Yeah, it's turnkey, dude, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, and the interior, God, the interior is just so nice, dude. I like this. Just, yeah, I like the color they went with, the wires. Sometimes you just need to get to the wires, dude. You're going to tuck them behind the dash? Just leave them out. Yeah, you're, and the yellow honestly makes the fucking center console pop. I like that all of the wires are yellow, too. Yeah. It's shui, as uh, they said on Batman Beyond. And also, he's got three different types of gauge here. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's sick, dude. Like, that's like a drift thing. Yeah, that's looking good, honestly. I, I like this one a lot. Um, well, I don't know if I'm gonna like it as much as this one, though. Ooh, we got '92 Nissan Silvia, twenty thousand dollars three weeks ago in El Paso, Texas, with one hundred fifty-two thousand miles. Clean New Mexico title. All body parts are real. All body kit parts are real. Came with the car from Japan. Oh shit, dude. Uh, I can ship it anywhere located in El Paso, asking 20K or lower on different wheels, which is always reasonable to do. I can ship it anywhere or transport it myself. It's not too far away for extra money. Healthy SR20 DET, 150 PSI all across, working AC, Exedi Stage 2 Crust, GT Clutch, uh, GT 2871R Turbo, Short Shifter, Tomei two-way LSD, YSR coilovers that are brand new. I've actually never heard of that one. Uh, adjustable tension rods, GK Tech, four to five lug adapters, Gram Light 57CR Nismo edition, 18 by 9.5 plus 28, origin type two style hood, origin front and rear overs, origin body kit, OEM brick headlights, Orion speakers, perfectly working e-brake, heart-shaped e-brake knob, cons, missing headliner and some rear plastics, rear bumper has a small two to three inch crack from it coming off while drifting. 240SX. I mean... The the hood, fuck. first off, is sick. Yeah. Because it, it like, I like the way that it has a big fucking thick line mm -hmm. that doesn't really match the lines of the car. Yeah, not even remotely. It's completely new. I also, it, yeah. you know, it kind of looks like uh, the car held in a sneeze and, like, yes. inflated the hood. I love the color. What's sick to me is, have you ever heard of the, of the Japanese, um, the Japanese phrase called wabi sabi uh yes actually is, isn't that where they like repair things with gold like uh if you crack a piece of pottery um or am i thinking I something else no no well it's it's similar to that though 
Okay, it's, go ahead. Go. Repairing, repairing with gold is is a form of wabi sabi mm -hmm. because you're finding the beauty in in imperfections. Yes, and yes, that's yes. what is so sick. That's what is so sick about this Japanese car with the jap with the real Japanese body kit is because it it it's really highlighting all the imperfections in the fitment but that's what makes it sick that's what that's what makes what it very fuck? attractive oh this is so cool yeah it's like an atomic dildo it, it looks like a picture from chernobyl like this looks like they found the elephant foot it's, that's pure yellow cake dude can we see it just in the daylight because i'm really curious what that is it's got to be the e-brake she's a beaut man i mean i really wish that i could tell you what this is, but uh, we, we're not going to get that information, but it's oh, fire, dude. God, from that angle, dude, that wing mm -hmm. is sick. Yeah. The fitment of the body kit, Wabi Sabi, Kaido Racer. sick. Yes, mm -hmm. dude. The fucking glowing shit underbody. Like, how do they even do that? Lights? I don't know. There's no lights under there from the factory, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, and, oh dude, the, the hot red engine bay with the purple body. With the blue yeah. pipes. And the cherry red on top. I mean... Grimace outside with ketchup guts. <laughs> Do you live in a society, but belong in a society? Do you play bass guitar, but wish you were blasting trumpets? Fear not, rude boy. A benevolent god has created Collector Car Feed, bestowed onto you. At CollectorCarFeed.com, when you search for Facebook Marketplace 350Zs, you get a list of Facebook Marketplace 350Zs. No Altimas, no V6 Mustangs, no Kia Souls. Just exactly the fucking car you fucking wanted to see every fucking time. Thanks to Collector Car Feed, I got my very own 350Z without all the headache of using Facebook Marketplace. I'm blasting trumpets, throwing that sh** sideways, getting doors, and deaf as fuck. The ladies love it too. I'm plowing more beaver than a reckless riverboat captain. Thanks, Collector Car Feed. CollectorCarFeed.com. Lock up your daughters, or they're coming home pregnant. Oh, it has the the initial D cup holder. Sick. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Not gonna spill Let's a drop, see. dude. Oh. No fucking ceiling. No, no, uh, no headliner. He listed, he did list no that headliner. Con. Yeah. Yeah. Con f that dude. That's sick. It's race mode, dude. Yeah. That's like, that's like a drifters thing. Yeah. And this thing's only $20,000. That's a, that is a bet, dude. That's a steal. That's a steal of a car. Yeah. Sick. It's gorgeous. It's honestly gorgeous. Yeah. I've never seen anything like it. And that's a good thing. Here is a 1993 Nissan 240SX 8250, Winter Haven, Florida, 163,000 miles. Runs and drives, healthy sounding K24 DE, which is the reliable one, LOL. Only mods done are aftermarket coilovers and intake with a beautiful Apexi Noir catback exhaust. Authentic Blitz Techno Speed Z1s won off an auction from Japan. No passenger seat, valve cover oil leak, odometer stopped working, no trades please. I have enough vehicles. And it'll do $7,000 if you bring your own wheels. Ooh, damn, that's a steal. I mean, you can take your own wheels? Yeah. I wonder if he'd let you, like, take it without the wheels. Like, do you have to bring like just, your own wheels? Like, just drag it up onto a flatbed yeah. with no wheels at all? Yeah, drag it on a flatbed or something like that, yeah. Yeah, probably. And it's nice that he's keeping the dash fresh with this carpet. Yeah. Yeah. And also, I like the shifter is just an old t-shirt. Yeah, it's a, it's a cover. It's a, it's a drifter's thing. Oh, yeah. I like the front, the because what's sick about that, uh, of the about the bash bar, especially on this one. Yeah. Go, that, in that right there, mm -hmm. it looks like, it looks like, um... Like people from the 60s when they got braces, you know, and they had to get the headgear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks sick. It's tough. Reminds it's you of a tough. simpler time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks hard as fuck, dude. And I mean, the rattle can paint job on here, it's a piece de resistance. Yeah. Look at those runs. The, the fucking door mirrors are sick, dude, because the ones with the hole that the air goes through. Yo, Gans? They make you, yeah, they're like, they make you faster. Yeah. BMW was really onto something when they designed this for the E36, and everybody who stapled this onto every other car in existence is a genius. Yeah. Oh, it has hood pins. Though Those are cool because that's like a drifter thing. Mm -hmm. The wipers, I wish he would have gone with a single, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Take take this one off. Just move take this that one, one off, over a couple yeah. of teeth. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then and then you got the single wiper. Yeah. That's that a would race be sick move. as fuck. Mm -hmm. The heart sticker is lit. That 350Z in the back, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the big wings, those 326 powers look yeah. so good, dude. It's like like a, they don't look, yeah, yeah. they're not yeah. oversized at all. No, no, it's exactly the right size. This is how Nissan should have done it from the factory. It looks exactly like a Type X wing, except like 150% of the size. 
And yeah. it makes it like kind of drape over the sides like some big old flappy dog ears. It makes the car look really um, approachable. You know what I mean? Like it looks like a uh, yeah, like cute, like a, a cutesy. like a lab or something. But also still tough. And like when girls see it, they're like impressed. You know? Yeah, it's like golden retriever from the back, dude. Pitbull in the front. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. With headgear, a yeah. muscle. All right, we got a video on this one. Uh, no sound, though? Let me try refreshing this. Hold on just a second. Not that button. Hold on just a second. Okay, we fucked up. Hold on just a second. Not running. He's, please crank it, dude. I gotta hear this beast fucking breathe. Crank that hog, dude. Dude, his setup is sick. This guy's laundry in the front seat? Yo, are the are the mirrors <sighs> asymmetrical? How oh, that do you do sick. that to the white body? <laughs> What happened there? It looks it's a it's a drifter thing, dude. Yeah, no, it's probably it's probably drift damage, honestly, which is tight. Yeah, yeah this is race mode for sure. Crack dash, try no dash. Yeah. Oh, I got a crack dash. I got a crack dash. Crimea River, bitch. Real men have no dash. Hell yeah, dude. All right, so we got a not Ryan S13, SR20 blacktop. Was a project car. Don't have time to finish it. Has interior parts except the passenger seat and dash with no cracks. Open the trades and sold. So, so, oh yeah, for sure. Cause projects are the, honestly the best ones to buy unfinished projects. Yeah. With the pumpkin gut too. Yeah. Pumpkin gut primer outside. Mm -hmm. Really? Wait. It's like prime prime outside. Oh, he ordered a external fuel pump. I think dude, that that's $140. That fuel pump by itself. Yeah. Holy sh. Oh dude. He dude, bought, he uh... spent, oh, he spent in Juku dude. He spent money at Njuku. All ISR everything, dude. On good, yes, legit, legitness, dude. ISR, legitness. And you can really see all those extra parts here. Um, yeah. Does amongst, it come with the with the laundry basket? I mean, it's full of parts. It's full of spray paint. It's got to, yeah, it's got to. Got to. I like that he has the jack stand up underneath the edge of the bumper there. Protect the exhaust. That's the important thing. Yeah. Somebody already bought it, so this gym is I'm, already gone, I'm unfortunately. I'm jealous Dude, honestly, I, I would have, I would have asked, like, I would have told you to, to link me this <laughs> if it wasn't sold already. Well, that's a shame. This one's already gone too. But here is a 1995 Nissan 240SX for twenty-two thousand dollars in Russell, Kentucky, with sixty-five thousand miles. It is a Sylvia right-hand drive, sixty-five thousand miles, clean title, completely rust-free underneath. It's mint. Rest of the info is in the last pick. He's got a Kaz two-way ISR one-piece drive shaft, a bunch of GK Tech stuff. R32 GTR front brakes, Project Mu D1 spec rear pads, Fortune Auto coilovers, Apexi metal head gasket, Tomei 256 pond cams, Sard 550cc injectors, braided turbo lines, ISR water neck. It goes on and on. You know how it goes. It's purple. It's an S14A, which is really unfortunate. Um, yeah. The wing is cool. I will the say the wing is dope. Yeah. I like the, the wing um, is sick. The Kaido racer treatment to the rear plate. Yeah. Where it's kind of like that, flapping that's off. That's like. Yes, that's sick as fuck. Does this have a... What's this little stump down here? What is this? Is this for a wiper? Oh, wiper delete, dude. Sick as fuck. S14s had wipers on the back in Japan? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What? But, but you have to take it off. Did they really? Yeah. That's you crazy. You can see it there. Well, I mean, obviously. He's got the stump. No, no, no. Go back. Oh. The, pic, the picture looking at that one. You can see it in the back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool, man. Just rip that right off. Must be nice. It is nice. That bumper, that bumper's sick. Bash mm -hmm. bar is sick. Wheels are sick. Sky skirt, side skirts are sick. It's almost perfect, oh. except for the S14A part. Yeah. And the price is right. When you put a sticker on a windshield, that's like boner mode, you know? Like, yeah. like wh where did you come up with that, you know? And, and how can I get some? Yeah. You know what I like to call the um, the S13 bash bar is the Chad bar. Oh, yeah, the Chad bar. Bunch of parts next to oh, a... Oh, sick. Like a Samsung. It's on top of his oven, I think. Let him cook, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, shit. Dude, and he got the JDM fucking nuts things. Yo, he got the Motekis, dude. No, 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 no. Those are the JDM. Like you unscrew it and you put that on there and you screw the nut. You screw the screw back on, and it's JDM. Damn, that sounds hot. Where's it go? You just replace screws like on the on the like, on the fender. Just anywhere you can grab or wherever. Yeah, wherever there's a screw, mm -hmm. you unscrew the screw, put that ring on there, and then screw it back on. Whatever my and vice grips can get is going JDM. Yes, 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 yes. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, drift button. Oh, yeah. JDM. Yeah, sick. Oh, Ooh. wheels are sick. Look at that dish. Fitment, dude. Fitment. Fitment Industries. Yo. Dude, dude. Martini works. This guy, this guy is like legit, legit. Oh, sh, dude. Purple. It's 
purple underneath. Purple on top. Or is it black? Heck, yeah, it looks purple, right? I thought it was purple earlier. It's like a midnight purple. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's like midnight purple. Well, either way, it's purple underneath, dude. Sheesh. S15 seat, just one. Sick. Looking good at night. Looking in, in the uh, the early it evening looks hours. green there. <laughs> She's popping. The kid knows what the f man. He's looking at that ass. That's probably I, honestly that's probably his car right there. He's probably just yeah. sitting in this one. Yeah. I wish I wish he would have drift stitched the bumper. Oh yeah, do some zip ties up those. Yeah, that looks sick as. F that would look cool. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, but it does have it does have the bumper quick release. Oh yeah, cool. Hell yeah, yeah dude. So and that's also, like one less one less mm, thing, you know. Yeah, dude. Pop it right off. And also, he lives in an apartment complex, and he washes it with a hose, like, coming probably from his apartment out to the street. So, you know this thing's being really well taken care of. Yeah. And it was a really good choice to buy a JDM S14 Sylvia, probably as your daily driver, while you live in an apartment. I mean, I mean have fun, dude. You only go yeah. around once, right? For real. And, and he does single bucket method, which is sick. Oh, yeah, just one bucket. <laughs> Yeah. Might as well be using that trash can. Oh, sorry. Maybe that I, is the second bucket. <laughs> All right, that's enough on that one. Here is a... Oh, this is the one we started with. You said you didn't like the wheels. Yeah, those wheels are... They're ugly. And yeah. I, don't know, I don't know about that front either. Yeah, you're, you're consistent, if nothing else. Here is... Uh, <laughs> do you, do you want to stop? Or? Yeah, I need to get a beer. 